Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of TAT Global Alternatives, Seti Coscarella. How are you doing today, Seti? Great, Rich. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Very excited to hear from you today and hear about some of the news that you guys have just announced recently. So you announced that it, you have entered into an agreement to acquire HLND Holdings, Inc., the parent entity of a convenience and tobacco wholesaler based in Ohio. Can you tell us who HLND is? Yeah, so they're the, they own a distribution company in uh, Ohio. We've done some work with, um, you know, we, we spent a lot of time kind of going back and forth and really trying to evaluate whether this was the right acquisition for us. And every time we kind of tried to look at it from different angles, it just kept making more and more sense. So we figured it, it'd probably be a good idea to sort of execute on, I guess you could call it the sort of first acquisition uh, that Tat did, you know, a number of, you know, remarkable things about this particular company. I mean, they're almost doing $90 million a year in sales, which is wow. tremendous. Yes. Um, they, they give us a distribution hub in the Midwest, which I think is key for us. And, you know, one of the things that I think is, uh, a really key part of why this acquisition makes sense for us is it gives us an owned route to market. So either through themselves or through their, um, their network, they can hit almost 5,000 stores. And, wow. and I think what that does for us, one, it gives us an ability to really hone in on a lot of the marketing initiatives to test them and get real-time data because we'll have that direct relationship with the retail stores. Uh, it'll also give us a tremendous amount of insight into additional products that are starting to move well in the market. And as we start to build out a more robust product development team, I think what we can do now is start to look at launching additional products as well, testing them in the market, coupling them with uh, you know the, the required marketing initiatives. And all of a sudden you have a really nice package that you can then go to additional distributors and sell to. So it's not like, you know, you're going into distributors and saying, Hey, this is a great product. You got to take my word for it. It's going to do great. It's we've already run it through this channel. This is how it's performing. Here's the backup marketing that we do in order to help commercialize it. And we can do the exact same thing for you. All you have to do is just say yes. And I think that creates a very, very powerful story um, for the company and uh, for TAT and any additional products that we'll look at at launching. I mean, you saw one of the press releases that we put out uh, just recently is that we're starting to look now um, a lot more seriously at heat, not burn. And as we kind of get to a market ready product, I think we would launch it straight into the distribution over here in Ohio, uh, evaluate how it does, you know, tweak a couple of things. And then once you're ready, off you go uh, on the national side. So I think it does a lot of really good things for the company. And, and I think, you know, it's just going to be a, a wonderful outcome for it. Congratulations. This is huge. It's always important when you're a new company and you're getting started to uh, grow your revenues and you guys have been growing organically and now you're growing through acquisition. This is great. And this is really, in my opinion, going to help the balance sheet. And that leads us to the next question. HLND Holdings Inc., had some really good revenues for 2018 to 2021, which you touched on. So will the revenues now be consolidated on the balance sheet of TAT once the acquisition is done? Yes. Yeah, it'll be a, an owned company of TAT. So those sales are now our sales. That's huge. Congratulations. That's going to make, uh, I think it's going to make a lot of difference for the balance sheet for the company. Did you guys make this move to help meet the revenue requirements to uplist to the NASDAQ? Does that have anything to do with this? I think those are ancillary benefits. I mean, ultimately, we looked at it as a strategic uh, acquisition for the company and its future prospects and growth. I think it, it sort of ticks a number of boxes for us uh, when it comes to that front. And if there's any 
sort of ancillary benefits, all the better. But, you know, for us, it was, I think, a solid strategic acquisition that gives us access to retail stores, um, gives us an ability to develop new products, adds a tremendous amount of revenue to the income statement. <clears throat> uh, and, and overall, just helps sort of solidify what TAT can be. Now, you mentioned 5,000 locations, which is impressive in itself. Will all 5,000 locations eventually be carrying TAT products once the acquisition is done? Well, that would be the goal, yeah, to, wow. to start driving it through all of the different channels and really get TAT in front of, again, I mean, the goal for us really is to put TAT in front of every smoker on earth. And, you know, that can take a bit of time. So we're trying to accelerate as quickly as we can. Um, but yeah, I think, I think doing that gives us a much stronger position to start getting TAT to the consumer base. How many other markets can HLND open up for TAT across the United States? Well, look, I think initially we're looking at Ohio and, and again, there's strategic reasons why Ohio makes sense, especially if you're going to look at some, some new product development, Ohio tends to be a market many CPG companies go to to test, learn, launch uh, new concepts. If it works there, then you know they take those learnings and and build the scale to take it national. So, for us, I think it made a ton of sense to do that. And you know, as as we progress, you know, there's there's large wholesalers and distributors throughout the U.S. Um, there's a lot of smaller regional ones as well, which is highly fragmented. So you know, down the road, it's something that we can also take a look at and see if there's some consolidation opportunities in different markets as we kind of get, you know, our feet underneath us when it comes to this side of the business, which I think we've got a great team in place from HLND to help us do that. Um, we can then potentially look at other ways in which we can take that knowledge and expand. Sati, how big is this acquisition for TAT? And what is the main message you want shareholders to know from this move the company has made? Listen, I think it's a, a foundational, almost transformational acquisition for us because I think it really gives us a lot of the heft um, that we've been looking for to really help commercialize this product. You know, if I look at what TAT is, you know, we have <clears throat> obviously our Beyond Tobacco line, but, you know, if, if you were to try to make the corollary to what a Coca-Cola is or what a PepsiCo is, you know, yes, there's Pepsi or there's Coca-Cola, but they'll have a whole wide variety of other ancillary products that they'll try to sell through the same channel. And I think this gives us a lot of good insight into what different products we can also make that fit within that sphere and then test, bring them to market. And when we see that they start to work, now you can really start expanding beyond, beyond tobacco <laughs> and, and become this sort of juggernaut. And I think that's exactly how we want to start positioning this company going forward. I love it. This is huge news. Congratulations. The CEO of TAT Global Alternative, Seti Coscarella, joining us today. I must remind you guys, the Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we discuss or talk about here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, TAT Global Alternatives was a pick that we brought you guys first, actually pre-IPO at 41 cents. Today, it's trading just under $2 in Canada. The symbol in Canada is T-A-A-T. -A -A the symbol in America is T-O-B-A-F. I believe that this deal makes TAT very undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. The way I look at stocks, if a company is doing $100 million a year in revenue, it should be priced around $10. A billion a year in revenue, $100. So I believe that based on where you guys are right now and based on the revenue, that this could price TAT way higher than where they are today based on the way I look at stocks. So that's just my opinion. Thank you for joining us today, Seti. Love to have you back on the show again when you ever have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss or talk about. We love to invite you back to the show. Seti Coscarella, TAT CEO. Thanks for joining us today, Seti. Thanks, Rich. Always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners. We bring you CEOs. We bring you the news. And we bring it to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with Tat CEO Seti Coscarella saying, Have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.